As a matter of fact, go back and make my stuff right now. Yeah, that was awesome, man. Look at my sword. What was that, like six? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have a crafting bench on like every level of this world. I'm not going to, you know, there's not much point going up places. All right, now, I kind of want things to be... No, actually, no, this will look good. This will look good. So... This out. Uh, again, I just kind of like things to look nice, pointlessly, I guess, but. thing I miss about I, I don't like on this server is or on this game is I like I miss my multiplayer server because my multiplayer server we spawn lightstone it's the only thing we're allowed to spawn but we do spawn lightstone and I love to use lightstone looks pretty good yeah that looks good nice not bad seven sheesh uh, wait you know what, I don't want to use diamond picks until I get a good amount of diamonds saved up, so... Just a sword, please. What am I doing? Here you go, guys, my first diamond item. You go away. Now, now we're gonna go kick some ass, dude. We're gonna go kick some ass, just wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. Safety first. Okay. I also have a bad habit of not mining stuff. Like, I run through the, the places, but I'm going to start trying to mine stuff as I go through. Cause sometimes I won't mine something, and then I'll forget to mine it. So... But a lot of times there'll be like a dark area, like like right over there will be dark. Like if I haven't explored that yet, and at that at that point I will run through because you need to get those torches up as fast as possible so shit don't spawn on you. See now this is a not a safe place to mine. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. This is... I'm not going to say it's Hoth-like, but the fact that I can even say the word Hoth in here... Oh my god. Wait a minute. Uh, this is getting to be Hoth-like. Again, for those of you that don't know my single player game, I found this ridiculous cave system, the most epic cave system I've ever seen. I still have four or five branches that I haven't been able to explore yet, and I called it Hoth. You know, Hoth from uh, Star Wars. And this is pretty freaking good. A lot of people are like, oh, I found the Hoth. I found a cave system better than Hoth, and I'm like, whatever. You know, but this is, uh. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Wow! I, uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Look at that guy. Just hanging out. Yeah, what we need is... This. We need to block some of that water. 
Actually, maybe I can use the water to my advantage. Yeah, own. That's what you, that's what the diamond sword is for. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, man? You want rock? I got a diamond sword. You ain't got shit. You got nothing on me. First thing we gotta do is take care of this water so we can move much better. Oh! What? Did you hear that? Yep, there it is. Where did he come from? I had that place solid. Where did he. Oh, he came from up there. Okay, you know what? This has gotta be dealt with. Alright, I'm getting a little paranoid now. I'll remember that it's up there. There is a lot of creepers. This might be referred to as the creeper mine. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. One thing's for sure, this place impresses me, and that's hard to do. This has the potential to be Hoth 2.0. It's an amazingly built world, too. Oh, Jesus, monster spawner! Right over my head, can you believe this? Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Monster spawner right over my head. You know what? As much as I love Hoth, Hoth never had a monster spawner. Guys, I will get that monster spawner. It's gonna happen. Oh yes, it will. I wonder if you get an achievement for defeating a monster spawner. How come I'm not getting any achievements in this? I guess all your games are linked then, I, I didn't realize that. Use planks and stick to make a hoe. I've never fished before. See you guys now. Never. I've made... I just put up my 200th episode of my single player game, and I have about 50 or 60, maybe even more, multiplayer games. And I have never, ever, ever fished. I've never made a fishing pole. Zombies sound bad. They do not sound happy. Why are zombies always in such a bad mood? Okay. Uh. Let's go this way. We gotta get on top of it. I usually like to kill the monster spawners from the top. Oh, battery on my iPod's going low. That's what I use to, uh, as my timer. Let's get rid of this charcoal. Huh. 
Uh, 64 exactly. What are the odds? Kind of trying to gauge where that monster spawner is. You think I'm over it? It sounds like it's below me now. Or maybe on the same level. Let me go back and double check. Get a better idea where it is. Oh yeah, I'm way above it now. Yeah, all right, it's right there, so that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six is the floor. One, two, four, five, six, that's on the floor. One, two, three, four, five. This should be just above it. There we go. Oh, they're not happy. One bit. Where's my uh, grenades? Like, can I make some grenades or something? This is how you take out a monster spawner. It works a lot better if you have a freaking bow and arrow. You know it would be cool if you got experience and leveled up by doing this? Like... It's textbook, guys. I hope you're taking notes. I didn't even get hit. Once. Look at him. Look at him in there. Ah! That's awesome. You know what? Iron buckets are nice. Because that's free, uh, free fuel. I can, um, put, uh, what do you call it in there? Uh, lava. Saddle. Oh, you know what? That string's pretty nice. I can move stuff above. All those strings aren't that hard.